Welcome to my first video. Um, today, we're gonna make a um, model if that behave like a sheet, but we're able to extend it full screen. All right, so uh, let's start off with a empty project uh, right here. I just have a new project open. So we're gonna make our uh, first model. Start with struct model and I make a content and a destination. Which will both conform to view. Cool. Uh, I make a binding. We also make our content. Create our initializer. So the easiest way to do this is um, to put everything in the Z stack. So if something show, uh, if Z uh, if the E present is true, we're gonna show it in Z stack. If not, uh, we're gonna show content. So that is the simplest form to put how to do this. Body that typical house with UI would be conform to some view and like I mentioned we just put thing in the Z stack and we say if so that e present if it show then we want to show our destination else we're gonna show our content right oh man All right that's the simplest that we can have so uh, let's make let's call our new view that we just make so that new present it's gonna put here and we're gonna when you put the tab we're gonna toggle our each present just gonna show the model copy for me he's over oh. All right you see the change but it's not that obvious so let me get more of it embedded to a Z stack and let me make this color what was that thing here and then that is color Let's say purple this is that as you can see now we see it more better um now we can add some transition uh, move we say that we want to move from the bottom not much let maybe add some animation uh, the work. Uh, okay. But you see, when we close it, it doesn't look that pretty. So let's copy the same thing here. Alright. And since so we want to ignore all the edge, now we have a full screen model. But what we want to able to implement how we would call a sheet like this, right? Um, since we want to do that, let's implement a view modifier. And we're going to pass in our destination as a view. And we 
can have almost exactly the same parameter here. Content from the parent, and this is gonna return some view. And we're gonna call our model up there that we make. Um, contention. Now we're gonna make an extension to that view, and we're gonna call it model sheet. Oh, well, don't forget to pass the destination conform to view, and the model sheet should have almost the same parameter uh, he presented. Modifier, and we're gonna call our model uh, view modifier with is pass on we presented and the destination. Converging non escape. Must be conforming to view. We have some destination referring to initial and present destination. Try that. Oh, something up here. Let's try this. Okay, that worked. Can remove that model. Now we can call it just my a sheet. I will call it sheet. Uh, pass here. Right, let's check it out. Perfect. So if you want, um, you can uh, you can change to different type of transition to make it how we want. And in this case, you know, make it slide. There is plenty that scale and such. Um, so to add more customization to allow us to um, control how we want the animation, the our transition to be, we can have make some change so let's make a protocol called transition type which will return a transition that conform to any transition and we're going to perform a get function here and we're going to do an enum model transition that conform to our transition type In this case, we're going to do edge bottom, edge top, uh, so maybe slide. You can add as many one here. You can do scale, etc., etc. Uh, as long as it's available within Swift UI, uh, we're going to do a switch. Let's 
let's move this up Jesus see uh, I'm gonna return the cell that uh, bottom Go back to our model, and we gonna change this to far. Type that conform to model. Condition that we just make from the enum, and we have to add parameter. Uh, model. Uh, uh, let's set default edge bottom. to have separate transition you can just add an actual parameter here uh, but in the case I just want for the uh, sake of the tutorial I just want to make it short uh, I was go down here you're gonna need this parameter we need this parameter to be called Change that and just add this line. Alright, so thank you so much for watching tutorial. This also works with tab bar uh, as long as you make a tab bar um, a tab bar view and just conform everything, you know, tab bar item, all that, and this will also work with tab bar as well as you see in the beginning of the, the video. Uh, so thank you for watching my first video and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.